Hey there ladies and gentlemen, this is the game Anomaly by Starling Games. Crazy, crazy game of hide and seek. It is a three against one game, and so I think it's set, set up best when you're playing with four players and you do have the three students trying to hide from the anomaly, uh, trying to attack him and do some other different things, and then you have the anomaly trying to seek out uh, them and get them, basically. So it's one of those really fun games. There's some suspense that can definitely build up, but let's go ahead and dive on into it. <laughs> So this game is really, really unique uh, and cool, and I have really enjoyed it. I didn't know uh, quite what to expect from this game, but the more I started learning about it uh, and reading up on it, and then finally being able to play it, uh, really, really enjoyable game. I, I will say that it feels like a pretty good balance. Uh, even if you're playing with a different number of players, I don't know how this would work with two players. You technically can play with two players, um, and I think there's a two-player variant that makes it a little more fair that you can read on the back. Um, but I, I would think that four players is awesome. Four players is awesome, and I would think that three players would be pretty decent as well. So each person is going to get one of these little character cards, and these are great because, uh, one, they shield your mini board. So you have your mini board right here that you're shielding from all the other players, and this has all of the information right here of your moves and the anomalies moves. And so there's a lot um, to kind of read up on, but honestly, it's really pretty simple if you just look at this board and you say, okay, here are my actions, here's the goal, here's what we're trying to do, here's what the cards do, here's what the cards do if I give them to the anomaly. It sounds like a lot, it looks like a lot, but if you just start out with the cards you have, then that'll make it much, much easier. So hopefully hopefully that helps a little bit if you're wanting to dive on into this game. This, this uh, design and everything is incredible. I've really, really enjoyed that. So here's the main board that's out. Um, in the middle of the table, and you have all of these different tokens here, and so you have all these small ones of different colors, and so the anomaly can try to track where all the students are. And so he has some bits and pieces of information with cards that the students have to put out to say, hey, on some of these squares, I'm in one with a yellow. And so he knows that you're in one of these four spaces, but he doesn't know where you're at. And so you're you're hidden over here, but he can put your little tokens out on the board to say, I know he's in one of these spaces. And it's just an interesting game to look at that uh, kind of sometimes you want to take risks and other times you just want to stay hidden. And it definitely depends on what side you're in. Your strategy changes quite a bit and there are different actions that the anomaly can do, different actions that the students can do. So really, really interesting uh, aspect of the game. We found that if it was, it was fairly well balanced, but if it was unbalanced, uh, it was unbalanced in favor of the anomaly actually, because any time you have three different markers right here. And so as soon as uh, the anomaly gets down to this marker, then the anomaly loses. But if this marker and this marker meet, then the students lose. And so this marker for the anomaly, as you attack him or as he doesn't feed, will go down. But anytime the anomaly feeds, this marker goes down one. And so you can see that that really favors the anomaly because not only does it go one away from him, it goes one toward the student. So that's basically a value of two every time he's able to do that. And the first game, we did not hide very well. And so it was just chomp, chomp, chomp. That got, got down there very quickly and there's no way to catch up once you're there. And this piece actually can come in and there's no way to move this piece back this way and no way to move this piece back this way. So you have to get the anomaly down to that. The second game was super, super close and the students actually ended up winning. So we had one-to-one -one so far in that first game. Really, really interesting to see how all of that worked out. The pieces are awesome. Um, the 
radiation <laughs> can be somewhat confusing, but really not that big a deal. So overall, honestly, really pretty simple. You've got these cards that you're using uh, as the students. The anomaly does not get any cards unless you use a special card. And so if you use one of these special cards, and again, all of these are on the inside here, if you use a special card, you could do uh, a double strike. So you could attack two different places if you want. Or you could do uh, a stun baton. That's three damage. That's the most damage in the game. You could do that with that card, but you got to look on the bottom half of that card to see what you're giving to the anomaly because he then has all these actions that he would be able to use as well. So really uh, quite interesting, fun game. We really, really enjoyed it. We played it uh, twice back to back for probably three, four hours. And so really, really enjoyed it uh, ourselves. And I think it's a super fun game. So hopefully that gives you just a quick bit about this game, what it is, what it does, and why it may or may not be hard for you.